Okay, so we're back with another tier list, but today we're going out of this world. Space is something that fascinates all of us, so let's rank the things we find in our solar system. Space doesn't really have any set parameters, so really the only criteria here is how cool I find certain things to be. Alright, here we go. Going from left to right, we start with Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and the closest to the sun. Mercury essentially has no atmosphere because of its low gravity, hot temperature gases, and heavy solar winds. Mercury has a temperature range of a negative 180 degrees Celsius at night and 430 degrees Celsius during the day. Basically, Mercury is the sun's punching bag and doesn't have a whole lot to rave about. C tier for Mercury today. Next up is Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is the hottest planet in the solar system with temperatures in the high 400s. Venus has a thick, toxic atmosphere filled with carbon dioxide. The surface of Venus contains thick, yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid that trap heat. Venus looks absolutely stunning so we can ignore its toxic environment and put it in the A tier for now. Next up is Earth, a planet that needs no introduction, Earth is where we call home. The third planet from the Sun, Earth is the only place in the known universe confirmed to host life. Earth is the fifth largest planet in our solar system and is the only one known for sure to have liquid water on its surface. Earth is the only solar system planet not named after a Greek or Roman deity and simply means the ground. Earth is unique in so many ways so our home planet gets an S tier ranking today. Next up is Mars, everyone's other favorite planet. Mars is very fascinating in its own respect. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and only 130 million kilometers away from us. Mars is known as the red planet because iron minerals in the Martian soil oxidize or rust causing the soil and atmosphere to look red. It's not the most visually appealing planet but it's the only other one apart from Earth that we may call home one day. Mars gets a respectful B tier ranking today. Next up is Jupiter, our first gas planet and the fifth from the sun, and what a planet it is. If Earth were the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. For such a giant planet, Jupiter's atmosphere is mostly made up of light gases like hydrogen and helium. Jupiter's great red spot is a gigantic storm that's about twice the size of Earth and has raged on for over a century. Jupiter sticks out like a sore thumb, but in the best way possible. A tier ranking today. Next up is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system. It is a gas giant with an average radius of about 9.5 times that of Earth. It has only one eighth the average density of Earth but is over 95 times more massive. Saturn has many rings made of billions of rocks and ice, ranging in size from a grain of sugar to the size of a house. Saturn gets most of its height from its rings, but look at them, how could it not? Easy S tier ranking for this planet. Next up is Uranus. The one we all laughed at as kids, Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and truly one of the most beautiful as well. Uranus is an ice giant. Most of its mass is a hot, dense fluid of icy materials above a small rocky core. Uranus has 13 known rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark and the outer rings are brightly colored. Uranus is unique in that it rotates on its side. While it's still a deadly gas giant, Uranus is one of my favorite planets simply based on its beautiful blue hoop. Easy A tier ranking to this one. The last planet on this list is Neptune. Neptune is the 8th planet from the sun and definitely the most lonely. Neptune's atmosphere is made up of mostly molecular hydrogen, atomic helium, and methane. Neptune has 14 known moons which are named after sea gods and nymphs in Greek mythology. Because of dwarf planet Pluto's elliptical orbit, Pluto is sometimes closer to the sun and us than Neptune is. While Neptune is beautiful in its own respect, it is often forgotten about and doesn't do much to keep our attention on it. It gets a measly C tier ranking today. Now with the planets out of the way, we have the moon. While there are many moons out there, our moon is the one that gets all the attention. The moon is in synchronous rotation with Earth. It has thousands of craters on its surface from asteroid collisions, mainly being Earth's protector. The moon is partly responsible for causing the tides of oceans and seas on Earth. The moon is one cool space rock, so it can go into the B tier today. And last but not least, we have the sun. The sun accounts for over 99% of the mass in the solar system. It is so big that over 1 million Earths could fit inside the sun. Temperatures inside the sun can reach 50 million degrees Celsius as energy is generated through nuclear fusion in the sun's core when hydrogen is converted to helium. Without the sun, life on Earth would not exist. The sun is the center of our solar system and one of the coolest stars out there. Easy S tier ranking today. And that wraps up our space tier list. Space is infinitely large and there is so much more to cover, so stick around for part two. Let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you next time.